In this video, we're again doing formulas and Riemann sums. This time, we're going to be doing a midpoint Riemann sum with a formula. Again, let's remember we need to know that we have equal subintervals for n. The b minus a are the bounds of integration over here. n is the number of subintervals. And remember, with a midpoint, we need to be doing the midpoints of each of the values. So let's take a look at that. So we've already covered our left Riemann sum, our right Riemann sum, and now we're doing a midpoint Riemann sum. We start off with what we're trying to skip by, which would be our b minus a over n, 9 minus 1 over 4 is equal to 2. If we think of it like a table of values, starting at our bottom bound of 1, we're skipping 3, 5, 7, 9, because we're skipping by 2's. But now we need midpoints. Well, we start off again with our b minus a over n, so 9 minus 1 over 4. That would be 2. Now we need to think about midpoints. So the midpoint between 1 and 3 would be 2. So we're going to plug a 2 in. So we would have a 2 plus 1 plus midpoint between 3 and 5 would be 4. So plug in a 4, 4 plus 1. Midpoint between 5 and 7 would be 6. So plug in a 6 plus 1. And the midpoint between 7 and 9 would be 8. So let's plug in an 8 plus 1. Doing these calculations, we would have a 3 plus a 5 plus a 7 plus a 9. That would be 2 times 24, which would give us a 48. Now, your midpoint approximation should be better than your uh, left or right. Notice that 48 is smaller than the 56 we got in our right Riemann sum, larger than what we got with our left Riemann sum. So our midpoint approximation of 48 would be a better estimate than either our left or our right Riemann sum.